Let's wait for he's to join. <coughs> Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. on our agenda, we uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we need to decide what we need to do in the real server uh, when it starts. We need to figure out a new name. Uh, then that's kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> just pretty much uh, the direction was, for the next server. That yeah, that's uh, how I was reading proposals. Uh, Alright, so when the next server starts, uh, what do you guys think should happen? Uh, I think all the towns should work on being revived. I mean, that's, I believe that's the first thing people should work on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Because the UN doesn't exist if there's no towns to be in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, we should... Uh, well, are some, some of the towns are going to be new, right? Yeah, probably, and there'll probably be towns that won't exist. Yeah, so we'll probably have to restart the UN, and then just have to include, just have people who want to join the UN rejoin it. Yeah, that's uh, what I was saying, that um, there has been work, yeah. uh, you've seen it, um, there is a new Discord being set up, they come out with a fresh mm -hmm. start. This one will be archived, and people will still be able to join if they want to see the archive stuff. But mm. there'll be a new one, the towns will have to reapply, and all that. That way we're just yeah. not, you know, redoing a bunch of stuff. Oh, I have a question. How, how would I integrate my, my little campsite here into the... the, the uh... Uh, where is it? It's like way north in the map in the uh, uh, savannah, I think it's called. Um, well, I don't know the, the official process, but you should you could probably just say you're a town. I don't know if there's like a defining criteria for it. I mean, because of the stress test, I don't know if there's really like towns sort of yeah. stuff here. Like, it's, yeah. It's more of just we're in this weird transition. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when will the stress time be over? Um, I'm watch. not sure. No one knows. Yeah, <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> we thought the server was getting reset, like, back in March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that the mods and admins would know, but even they probably don't know. Yeah. They haven't, they haven't seen much on dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't yeah. heard anything. Sadly. I mean, most likely this year, I would guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Hopefully. Uh, I would think it's soon, because I just turned off the main survival server. So, yeah. I would hope that it's in with like a month, but I'm not an expert uh, on that subject. Yeah, my best educated guess would be late spring or early summer. But then again, that's just me guessing. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Official, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's like Isa, right? Like how you say it? Uh, yeah, I I like that idea. Uh, we should have like departments. And stuff. Uh, yeah, I think we already have some, but <clears throat> not quite sure what they are. <laughs> yeah, well, we do have the treasury, but again, this is all stuff based off of the previous server mm -hmm. that no longer exists and it's archived. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of just. Yeah. But especially once 1.16 comes up, the there, you know, we're still thinking about having a dedicated area for all this kind of stuff. 
mm-hmm. where it's like open to the public and have like little public things for people to use. Yeah. And then the whole transport thing of trying to get like the overworld connected. That was a big point we discussed, mm-hmm. I think, last time. Are we allowed on the roof? On the roof of the nether? Yeah. W- where are y'all? I oh, are you, we're in the uh, WBC building. I think yeah, I think the I mean that again that can change with one point sixteen, but I think it's open and stress test, or maybe it's not oh. and it will be. I'm not hundred uh, percent sure. Well, I think in uh, <clears throat> sorry, my first little. Uh, I think in the when the server resets, we should ask the mods. Uh, if we're allowed to go on the roof. Because I feel like if we're allowed to go on the roof, that could open up a kind of a new thing for transport. You don't have to dig all all these tunnels. Yeah, that would uh, help. No. Um, I think it'd be, personally, I think it'd be easier if you could just build stuff on the roof. But I don't know. I don't know if the mods want it to be like more, of it, more vanilla. Uh, we'll so... See. We should call. We'll have like the four cardinal directions in the Nether. Uh, we might be able to have like a train in the world, or like a yeah, that, nice tunnel. Yeah, that yeah. was the plan to have a train system for like a semi-slower transport. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because yeah. sometimes you don't want to be constantly aware of transport. You just kind of want to just go somewhere without thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Plus it could be a cool way of going around the server. <laughs> yeah. We and could, plus, uh, weren't they saying the, the world size is going to be smaller than the previous one? Um, maybe? I Pretty can't sure quite remember. Because I think they said, the mod said something about how um, the last server was too spread out and that like the towns were all their like own little thing and that they didn't want it to be like that. So they like are shrinking yeah. the map so that everyone's more connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which will definitely uh, help with connecting with rail and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And get to start off, we could probably just build in the overworld like four cardinal tunnels, and then once towns start, we could branch out. We could branch tunnels out from that. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Uh. We should probably build. Like the next UN building in a more like open place, probably closer to spawn. Yeah, uh, that way it's easier to access, especially if there's gonna be public things that people can use. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be like very basic stuff there, like you know, maybe a little basic farms and stuff like that, or you know, just mm-hmm. simple stuff uh, for new players we, uh, that they want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should probably have like a like a bank of food or stuff that uh, new players can take if they need to, uh, yeah. or like iron tools and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, not quite sure what to about next. Uh, <laughs> well, names, sir. I guess. Oh, yeah, names, yeah. Uh, does anyone have any new name ideas for uh, the next server? I mean, because... What do you mean for the next cause... server? Like, like the UN? 1.16. Like the yeah. server itself? No, for like th- this group. Oh, yeah, for oh, the UN. Because there's a international law um, against referring to yourself as the UN or Red Cross. <laughs> and while Shit. we're not a hundred percent sure if that could get RT in trouble, you know, mm-hmm. might as well I'll... just in case. And it's not like it wouldn't change the idea of this; it just have a different name. Yeah, we could probably also just put a disclaimer saying this is a, a fake UN. It's, we're not copying you guys. <laughs> United. Um, Cities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, United communities. 
Yeah. Uh, United Spires. So, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, does the anyone United have, like... States. <laughs> yeah, that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, settlement too. I you don't like that you, one. Yes, you do. Un UN. Un UN. That's funny. Uh, yeah, but when uh, settlements turn into cities, that name kind of updates itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, I do like. Uh, UTS a lot, uh, United Towns and Settlements. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this in like a, a staff chat. Um, the United Settlements of Ireland. There we go. Oh. The whole world is Ireland. US, the whole world is Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> all of yeah. Minecraft is now Ireland. We must oh replace all grass with uh, potatoes. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um. <coughs> yeah, uh, alright. Uh. Anyone else have any ideas for names? I already get my name. Oh, the... Well, the only thing is we don't want to make it too invasive because we've had drama on the last yeah. server. Um, that's well, kind of one of the reasons why we're doing the really fresh start. pointless drama. Sorry, in my yeah. opinion, it was just... Uh, uh, some people who were like, oh, we well, don't want to be in the well, UN. Could I be in well, the was, was What happened? There was some misinterpretation on what the direction <clears throat> was. Um, there were some people thinking that we were trying to take over the server, yeah. even though we've always said that it was oh. the mods and admins that always had the last say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, were you guys were making like laws or something? Like well, we, what we were doing was we we passed resolutions on what the people in this group wanted to do, like projects or just ideas. Like, yeah. But some like people were thinking we were. Thing. Yeah, some people were thinking that we were requiring everyone on the server to follow what we say, which was not. <laughs> I mean, how would we even enforce that? There's no way. PvP is off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't <laughs> in the UN. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh <We> God. <laughs> that might have not helped. <laughs> well, no, that yeah, was something that... Met. That was something the, <laughs> the mods and admins did because we asked yeah. for it. Yeah. Remember that time they uh, spawned a wither in the UN building? Yeah, <laughs> that, that was the first one I think I wasn't in. <laughs> It was very chaotic. Uh, <laughs> kind of terrifying. I would assume so. The one thing with the next one is I I don't want it to be one big single building because, oh mm -hmm. my gosh, that took so long and oh, so idea. much light gray concrete. <laughs> so much dripped dark oak wood and oh, green God, terracotta, yeah. like the three <laughs> things that would be the hardest to obtain. <laughs> but and I had to get, I had to get tens of thousands of it. Yeah, but depending uh, on the uh, on the number of locations and the size of those locations, it could even cost more to do multiple. Yeah, like if you're just uh, to do like like even like ten buildings of this size, it might be equivalent. Yeah, yeah but what if we had I, a I like it. What we if we would have, have like, more people involved, oh, hopefully. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. You can go. Alright, alright, alright. All right. What if, for example, like, in the smaller settlements, you have, like, little shacks that have, like, the UN, the, whatever we're going to call it, logo on it? Yeah. Well, we were thinking about setting up, like, embassies, so every town yeah. there would be... So yeah. at the complex for whatever we're going to call it, 
in the new server, there would be embassies for each town, like a little thing. And then in every town, there could be a little thing to represent. I like that um, idea. So, for example, in my little, like um, for example, in my little camp, you just have a little tent that said the, the, the UN or something. Yeah, it, it would be something where it would still match with the style of the town, but still kind of represent the complex itself. Like, we don't want it to be just some, like, giant building in every town that looks exactly mm -hmm. the same. Uh, oh, God, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Hizo says, uh, what if the meeting assembly was a circular design? Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Like a seating design that's circular. That's, oh, and like that the, was my, you guys are in the yeah, that was my original idea. It's more of a, if you ever look at NATO, uh, how mm -hmm. they have their meeting room set up, that's kind of a more NATO kind of set up. And it, it also works very well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think for the next UN, we shouldn't have uh, ambassadors. We should just have it be like a kind of more popular vote. Stuff like... Yeah. If people want like to vote on something, it's not just like the ambassadors voting for it. It's everyone who wants to can vote for it. What we could do is, um, unless this, I mean, if the server like explodes, like it, it did one time in the previous server where there were so many people playing at once. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, that that was the original intention with the ambassadors. Is that there were so many people that having them all join the Discord and and make sure everyone thought their vote would be coming right. some, but if it doesn't get to that point, we don't have to do it like that. That's something if, we could always switch on and off if we have to. Wait, but what mm -hmm. if, um, like, in those embassies, there were, like, ballot stations where people could vote? Yeah. And that'd be neat. Uh, yeah. So that okay. way everyone would ever say, and, like, maybe, like, they would deliver the results of those votes or something. Or yeah, we it would kind of keep it more in the server. Yeah, and that way. Able to join. And that way, if it does explode, we wouldn't have a hundred people in the building. I mean, it would just be yeah, like, like um, some paper or something. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, but there still should be like some kind of representative of each town that you know, like. Mm -hmm. That yeah. wants to come to the meetings. I mean, it could be like they pick it every meeting if they want. They don't have to pick a single person. Yeah. You know, I think they should be up to the town, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's totally up to the, their choice. Yeah. Yeah, either to the town in general or to the, the leadership of the town or if even just the leader himself wants to do it. It's totally up to them. Mm. We don't... We don't we're, we don't force that upon them. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, I keep having to look in proposals. Uh, One thing, also, when new towns are made, make sure you do make a banner because that's helpful mm -hmm. to help ad identify. Mm -hmm. uh, we should get on the UN thing right away in the next server. Oh. So, like, when someone. Like, like when someone founds a town, we can just like say, "Hey, do you want to be in the UN?" And then, if they want to, they can join. If they don't, they don't have to. Uh, I think that'd be a like instead of having like a month in, like, "Hey, everyone, you should sign your town up for the UN." I think it should be like I, be I don't know how to approach them. them. Yeah, and then if they don't want to, then they don't have to. It's just they don't, aren't they aren't in it, and I feel like it'd be a, a easier way to get a bigger grasp on who's playing. Also, uh, I think it'd be a lot easier to just like vote in the Discord. I'm bound. I, I do. Idea. I do like in like I do like the idea of like the uh, ballot thing. But I, uh, I feel like it'd be more like easier to control if it was just in the Discord. Candace, yeah. Uh, save. 
people can't just throw a thousand pieces of paper saying who. <laughs> oh god, yeah. yeah that, that was the only thing I was thinking of. I'm like, how would, would we have I would have to that. Like, maybe we could have, like, like, like security guards or something, like, making sure. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, count the votes, making sure that there's, like, there's, like, the same amount of votes as people in the town. It'd be uh, really I mean, funny. It's easier to manage, probably. Yeah. But then there's the people who probably wouldn't want to join the Discord, too. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, probably yeah. then there's people that probably don't have Discord. Oh yeah, he's a set of good solution. Sign a book. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the Discord thing will work for as long as oh. the server doesn't explode to like there's like a hundred people wanting to join the server at the same yeah. time. Remember the yeah. I think <laughs> like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I it's definitely I feel it'll definitely be bigger than what. The stress test is right now, especially once mm -hmm. more streams come up, and yeah. with a whole new world, people are gonna hopefully stay a little bit longer than they do. So it's definitely going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, do um, hope that. Sorry, I don't please. expect it to be instantly big. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like regular is easier because we can, because you can slowly input things as the population grows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could, uh... Oh, oh you sorry. Were saying, you, were, you were breaking up a little um, bit. What were you saying? Um, I feel like we might be able to do something where, like, we have, like, an exchange where, like, you can trade, like, iron for gold and stuff in, like, the netherhead. I think that'd be a neat thing for, well, like, the treasury to do. And, yeah, maybe, we should, and maybe we could boost our economy. You could, we <laughs> could even just set up, like, shops and stuff. Yeah. Because there's a, there's going to be that shop area. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I think a big goal also is to make sure the economy doesn't go back, uh, it doesn't end up like it was previously. With uh, the, like, if you're in a like diamond diamond you block to the server, yeah, or someone has to have a like, monopoly. Like uh, I think it was like there was one person who had like a shop on everything, and yeah. I feel like that. I mean, there's a, I mean, there's a reason there's laws in the real life where people can't do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, obviously we can't control everyone. Obviously we can't like, that, but Should we add the Geneva push. Convention into Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like there should be pushes to make sure that, you know, people can't, don't just control everything. Like, like if there is a guy who just decides to sell everything, there should be people who compete with that. Yeah. Well, like, you know, encourage one that. One thing we can do is make it so we can set up shops, you know, like I said, but we can help make it a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we're not, like, financing a town or anything. Yeah. So. I, just wanna, I think what we could do is we could uh, have, like, I stuff just wanna, that's, like, valuable. Like, uh, yeah, there should be taxes, I agree. Like, like... I think if you could, like, sell, like, Elytra, if someone's selling Elytra for, like, 10 diamond blocks or whatever, uh, I think we should try and, like, sell them at a more reasonable cost yeah. that, like, newer players can't afford. Because I didn't can have an Elytra them. in the last never house. Yeah, too poor. Yeah. We just have to, just, like, rush the end and then... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate that. Because there's always going to be that people, like, just rush netherite, rush... Uh, it will try and get everything first so no one else can get it. Like just well, I do and think once you have a light drug, you can get a light so much easy. So much easier. I, I think the mods are like they're putting in things where stuff like that can't yeah. happen. They're the whole restrictions on giant farms. Oh. Yeah. I just and feel like, I just feel I like, think a lot like not having a hive will help. I mean the hive was just <laughs> kind of funny to have, but that's definitely not happening in the next one. Whole my separate biggest, server. It's just my biggest concern about 1.16 is one person controlling the economy. And because that kind of did happen last thing. And I just, mm -hmm. that's not, I feel like there should be like maybe a reward to someone who people like can test it. You know, just something to encourage people to rival people <laughs> like that. Well, we could probably uh, also, what we could probably do is we could set up like a villager breeder, right? And then have like, yeah. Like, as as our own villagers that sell, like, good enchanting books, and we, like, let people buy the enchanting books from the villagers directly. 
instead of like us selling them to people. I just feel like the biggest priority is making sure no one has a monopoly. Yeah. Well, we just need we just need to make sure more towns set up their own shops. Yeah. Yeah. We just gotta encourage. Yeah. We kind of rely on people saying on people, you know, contesting it themselves. Mm -hmm. Like what uh, Isa is saying in chat. Yeah. It could also be a thing where, because if, unless it's changing, it there's like a rent to own, like operating one of the shops. Yeah. Um, what we could do is the UN has their own shop, and people that want to sell stuff don't have to pay for the rent. <laughs> I do. Yeah. But I don't know if that would be avoiding something in that much. No, that could be no, he's gonna sure. no, he's going to make sure you restrict like people. Like having, you can make sure restricting like people to one shop and like making sure mm -hmm. that. We, what we could also do is we could sell like a. Yeah. You can also make like Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you can also make sure that people don't sell everything. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what we could do uh, is we could probably set up like a like a license. So, like, if you want to buy something from, like, a UN licensed shop, you can, like, it's, like, it's something more cheap and affordable. And, like, you can get a license and you can pay, like, a lesser amount, and the UN will, like, pay for the rent of the shop for you. I think that would be, like, a smarter idea. Or not a smarter idea, but I think that might, like, work better than the last server, where it's, like, I mean, you have uh, one, I don't know. Also, all this is pretty much subject to change, you know, because again, we still don't fully know what's happening in the 1.16 server. Yeah. You know, all this could literally just change all overnight. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All Nothing is really uh, set in stone. Mm -hmm. uh, so, does anyone have anything else they'd like to talk about? Um. I feel like we should think about ways, uh, no, ways we could encourage people to contest, oh. like contest shops. Like, I mean, I'm saying like we should, because no, I mean we want to, I mean like I said, if someone's selling everything, we want people to rival them. Like we want uh, competitors, and we I was need ways to uh, encourage people to do that. I mean, no one's just gonna mm -hmm. get up and take shop just for the sake of it. Well, I think that's something we can think of. If that scenario happens, because there's like with the new, you know, with new people getting on and stuff like that, I think naturally there will be yeah, I feel like it's more competition people. because it'll be it'll be fresh. Um, people will be able to start their shops a lot Here, easier. Here's what you could do. Here's what you could do. You can make it like a, uh, you could advertise it as a way to get like quick quick diamonds or like quick in materials fast. You know, like selling things. You know. Or like we could tell people to like just not buy from one person. Make sure to support everyone. Mm. Uh, I I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah we, we, we don't. Bit. Yeah, we don't want to tell people what well, to not do. Not tell. I meant like. Okay, I'm gonna rephrase. Yeah, that. but even even I wanna, that. I want to be... rephrase. I want to rephrase that heavily. Encourage. Mm -hmm. We want. We want to encourage people to to you know like support many you know small places and not just buy from one person who has everything. Uh, but also, yeah. we we want to be careful with that. Again, that's why I was saying that maybe we'll just, if that comes up, mm -hmm. we'll think about what we need to do. I just but like it's gonna... Just, well, let's uh, just let the, it yeah, start we don't up want naturally. A repeat of that last thing on the <laughs> server where, where they set up that whole uh, anti-UN <laughs> thing. <laughs> they said it the anti Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Because they were. Yeah, there was. There was Why didn't they set up a whole thing. building? Well, I don't know if it was there a building. I just oh, know I don't think like, there was a building. But like it was like a, a couple like, of towns that were like it, it forming like a government movement. to protest the government. It was like a movement, kind of like, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if there's government, there's always going to be people that rebel. I mean, it, it was turned to literal politics. We do it. We yeah. do it. In the law to the government. <laughs> yeah.
Which at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, this is just a game. Yeah. So yeah. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong with a bit of inter internal conflicts that, um, you know, like, make everyone cry themselves to sleep, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, real politics. <laughs> yeah. Alright, does, uh, does anyone else have any, uh, anything to say? No? Hey, uh... Listen. Oh, okay. You're a mute. Yeah. <coughs> well, I I think for now, I think it'd be. I don't know about a an abrupt turn things, but I think we should just have this as like current as like a temporary base. I mean, I, don't know. <coughs> I mean, I feel like we should worry less about the stress test and more about the actual one point six server. I mean, mm -hmm. This is just a test. Right. Sorry, I'm gonna... we're, we're making politics on a, on a server meant to test stuff. I mean, that's a bit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my throat was. I have a big bad cough. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. No. Oh, um, Teal. T L I T I L R. Sorry, uh, he said he wanted to say something, but also yeah. that he needs a second. He so. said he has an ending comment. We just take it out. Yeah, I do like the idea of multiple locations. Mm. That should definitely be a goal. Um. Yeah. Really? Well, also, we should have an election. Uh. Oh yeah, I I agree. I can't wait. Wait, the election for a uh, well. Uh, for my seat, basically. Oh, what's your seat? <laughs> um, Sorry, I could ask. Uh, the Under Secretary General. Uh, TLIR is uh, Secretary General, but he's like the admin, right? So he set up the whole thing. Uh, so, it was like so I was like elected to this. Mm -hmm. So I was elected to this. I'm like the top elected official, right? And uh, uh, we're supposed to have four month terms, and I was elected in March. Out of curiosity, what what powers does does he have? Uh, do I I have? Yeah. Um, I have. Well, I'm like the elected leader of the UN, I guess. And then T I L R is like the non-elected leader. <laughs> so president, vice president. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, I uh. Oh, I like that idea for the treasury. Vault. Yeah, with like a secret code. And some redstone of all, maybe. <laughs> um, Make it possible. But yeah, def we definitely really need to have an election because I've been uh, kind of like the interim leader for like, <laughs> I, at this point, like 10 months. And I would love oh. to be under Secretary General again, but uh, we need an election. <laughs> we were waiting for like, an, we were waiting to have an election once the new server started. So I think we need to make that a a higher priority. I like yeah, I, I think we should wait to have an election on the one point sixteen server. Um but we should definitely do it within like a like like the end of like the first week or the second week. Cool. Yeah, and I, I agree with what you said earlier, uh, about the Who's Craig you about were? how it started as a building project and stuff. <laughs> I agree with you. I get it. Uh, Alright. Well, if uh, no one else really has anything to say, um, I guess we can end the session of the United Nations. Sorry, the fake United Nations. Um, see you guys, I guess. <laughs>
I have a question. Is every meeting going to be held at this time? Um, probably. Okay, uh, so this is so or important. maybe like an hour earlier. It depends. An hour is earlier? Me? Oh, wait. What time, oh, is, what it time is it for you? Well, for, you? for me, it's like 9. It started what, at like 9. PM? I uh, am. AM. Yeah, that's early. It's... <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it seems like it's supposed to be at like, it's like at 4 GM. I was trying to choose like a time that would work for like a lot of people. Yeah, but GMT so, is like I don't... European, and most people are not European. So if you want most people yeah. <laughs> in America, more yeah. Western types, it makes more sense. Well, <laughs> there, are, <clears throat> there are quite a few Europeans on, just they're not yeah. on. But I feel like we're doing in between, just not yeah. the middle. I don't know. This is really early. Oh, oops, I muted myself. No, it depends on like the, the people, you know. Uh, I should probably do like a census and ask like, hey, are you guys uh, American or European? Or like, yeah, no, which, which like... continent are you from? No, no, like super personal questions like, oh, where exactly do you live? What's your Just address? Do, like, like what like, time zone is like, like what? Yeah, what time zone are you? So like, is the best. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, east, I'm Eastern right now. It's 12 a.m. Yeah. Oh my God. No, 12 not 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Sorry. Oh, it's yeah. like lunch. Yeah. Well, lunch if uh, you wake up early. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wake up at 10. <laughs> nice. Um. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Uh. Yep. I call yeah. like. Just for call this meeting over. Peace. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Oh, no. oh, huh? What? All right.